Welcome to Demystifying Math. In this lesson, we're going to be finding the area between two curves, where both curves are below the x-axis. We're going to use the parabola negative x squared minus 1 and the line 3x minus 1. So if we want the area in between them, we would have the shaded region that's shown on the screen. First of all, in order to solve this, we need to find out where their intersection points are. So we're going to do that by setting the two equations equal to each other. So we have negative x squared minus 1 equaling 3x minus 1. And I'm just going to set it equal to 0 and factor and solve for x. So I got x is 0 and negative 3. So I plug negative 3 and 0 back into the equations and I've got two ordered pairs at 0, negative 1 and negative 3, negative 10. So in order to find this area, what I'm going to do is break it up as two separate areas. So I'm going to find the area between the line and the x-axis. Remember that whenever you're integrating, you're always finding the area between the graph and the x-axis. You could do it um, in terms of y as well, but it would always be between the graph and the y-axis. So we could actually find this area um, using the formula for a trapezoid because it is a trapezoidal region. You can verify that our area that we found using integration is the same by using the trapezoid formula. Remember the trapezoid formula is 1 half times the height times the sum of the two bases. Remember that the bases are always parallel to each other. Okay, so using integration, we're going to integrate from negative 3 to 0, the two intersection points. And we got negative 16.5 units squared. Now we're going to do the same thing for the curve. For the curve, we're going to find this region, and it's going to be from negative 3 to 0 as well. And I got that to come out to negative 12 units squared. Again, the area below the x-axis is negative when you're integrating. Now, what we're going to do is subtract those two areas. So we're going to take the um, two areas, and you notice that if I cut out the area under um, between the x-axis and the curve from the area between the x-axis and the line, we end up with that blue region, which is in between the two curves. So I'll do that one more time for you, so you can see it a little bit better. So the area between the x-axis and the line is greater than the area between the x-axis and the curve. So we're going to subtract the two areas, subtracting the upper graph area minus the lower graph. So we're going to take the curve and subtract the line. And that will give us in the right order. So we have negative 12 minus negative 16.5, which comes out to positive 4.5. So as long as you're always doing the upper graph minus the lower graph, you're going to get a positive area between the two curves. Now, the other way to do this, which is normally what we do, is to go ahead and subtract the equations first and then integrate, which saves you a little bit of time because you can simplify and then you don't have so much integration to do. Um, so for more difficult problems, I would do it this way first, but just so you can see how the two areas subtract out. All right, thank you for watching Demystifying Math.